In this video, I'll show you Canva's new and definitely improved Bulk Create app. If you have used this app before, you will truly appreciate these updates. To start, open up your project in Canva and create your base design. This is the design layout you want to repeat for all 10 designs. Next, I'm just going to drop in flowers from the Elements tab, and after that, I'll add two text boxes. The first text box down at the bottom will hold my Bible verse reference, and the second one will hold the verse text itself. Adjust the font, text size, background, and graphic layout however you want. Get it looking exactly the way you'd want all your designs to appear before we move into the bulk create part. Now, to feed our text into Canva, we'll need a CSV file, basically a simple spreadsheet with our verses. I asked ChatGPT to create a CSV file for me with 10 Bible verses about peace. One column is called reference for the verse name, and the other column is called text for the verse text. In my previous bulk create video, I go through the steps using Canva's Magic Write and Canva's spreadsheet to create the CSV file. The link is in the description below if you don't want to use ChatGPT. Once you've got your CSV ready, go ahead and download it to your computer. Let's go back to the design we first created. Look over to the left side toolbar and click on the apps icon. And once it opens, type bulk create in the search bar. Click on it to open. This is where the bulk create magic happens. It is here you will upload your CSV file and you have several choices. Canva now lets you upload data directly from Canva Sheets, which is their own spreadsheet tool they released earlier this year. So if you've already got your data inside Canva Sheets, you can connect it straight to Bulk Create. Super handy. In my case, I'm going to use my downloaded CSV file. So I'll click Upload Data, choose my file, and bring it in. Now on my design, I'll click the first text box, choose Connect Data, and select which column I want to appear there. For this one, I'll use the text column. That's the verse itself. Then I'll click the second text box, choose Connect Data again, and this time I'll choose Reference for the Bible verse name. Over on the left, Canva now shows both of my connected fields, which means everything's linked and ready to generate. It is here that one of the big improvements to Bulk Create is, as previously, Bulk Create only allowed up to 60 fields in your spreadsheet, which could get limiting fast if you were doing larger projects. Canva has expanded that to 150 fields. That is a great upgrade for sure, but this next upgrade is something anyone using Bulk Create was definitely praying for. If you scroll down and click Continue, then open Advanced Options, you'll see a brand new setting here called Name Each Page Using. This is a total game changer. Well, with this upgrade, you can now tell Canva to name each generated design using one of your spreadsheet columns. In this case, I am going to choose the reference column, which means each design will be named after the verse that appears on it. You can also choose where to save everything by selecting your preferred folder and then click Continue. Canva now shows you a preview of all your connected data, which in my case is 10 different verses. You can uncheck any you don't want, but I'm going to select them all and hit Generate 10 Designs, and there it is. Canva instantly creates a full set of designs, each one showing a different verse. There will always be tweaking of the text in your designs. You might need to resize font, make the text box larger, and move things around so that it looks neater. You will also notice that each file is named here. Once you have made all the adjustments and everything looks good, you need to export or download your files. Go to Share to Download. That's the update. The Bulk Create app just got way more powerful. You can now use up to 150 fields, and best of all, finally have your designs named automatically from your data. If you've been avoiding Bulk Create because renaming files was such a hassle, this is your sign to dive back in. This is a great Canva update. If you want a full walkthrough from start to finish, check out my earlier Bulk Create video. If you found this content helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.